Um, you know the Tony Hawk mountain climbs in the trees? My friend is doing to me. You're in so much shit. <laughs> yeah? Well, they do a good job, don't they? Yeah, they I literally apart. couldn't see it for the first few seconds. They look very much <laughs> for a quick tiki tour out of uh, Warramal Station where we're staying for a couple of nights and checked out their old shearers quarters and wool shed. It's a nice little drive, it's not far out of the station itself to be honest. Um, just a short little, probably five, ten minute run and uh, you drive along the coast right on the inner side of Shark Bay which is really cool. Uh, depending on the tide you'll see water or you'll just see the big mud flats. You'll definitely see lots and lots of flies. <laughs> so, hence the lovely fly net over there. But otherwise, this is really rad just to uh, check out another old school wool shed. This is our second one. I think the first one was Kinchiga National Park. Um, still a few little working mechanisms in it and it's not too bad to check out. TV, go! Sure, you could consider this just a rubbish tip and we're walking through a tip. Ugh, a bit boring, right? No, I look far beyond that and realize that the people that live in these remote locations really do capitalize on absolutely everything that they have and very limited amount of equipment actually goes to waste. They have to salvage, they have to utilize as much as they can when living so far remote. They don't have the luxury of just ducking down to the shops to get spare tools, spare parts whenever they want. Also, as you can see here, they've had some fun with their rubbish along the way. One 
one thing I forgot to record, these guys have some of the biggest and best artesian bore baths you're ever going to experience. And it's another great little reason why you stop into this station and kick back and relax. Mm -hmm.